like to share with you this week's parsha. Parsha is devoting something very nice from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzchak Zatzal. <clears throat> and this week's parsha describes something very unusual about Oig Melech who who wanted to wage a war against the Yidden. And it describes over there about Oik, and it says, Hine Arsoi Eres Barzel. His bed was made out of iron. And then it says that the measurement of the bed was four amas by nine amas. We're going to focus tonight about why the trader describes about Barzel. The number four and nine has a connection, but that's a lengthy discussion. But it fits with our discussion of Barzel, but the Rebbe's father explains. The Arso is his bed, brings down Rabbi Levi Yitzchak in Malachim, base, Perik Aleph, Posuk base. There, the, the, it describes the base Hamikdash, the Kedish Hagadoshim, the Aliyah's Kedish Hagadoshim, with the words Bachadar Hamitois. This is as if the Abish's private room, his bedroom, his, a person's bedroom is very private. Concerning the Mizbeach and the base Minch in general, we find later on in Pasha's Kisovoy in Devorim, Loisonif Alehem Barzel. You should not use any tools of iron. David doesn't want no iron in the base Minch. That's why it was only made out of stone. So we have over here Zelu Umazer, one the opposite of the other. But the base Migdosh, by the Chadar Amitas, the personal bedroom of the Abish there. No barzel. By Oig, Arsoi Barzel, his bed, his bed was made out of barzel. Barzel is iron. <coughs> What's the meaning of all this? Brings that Rabbi Yitzhak from the Arizal, that barzel is a Russia Tavers. It's an acronym for the four matriarchs. But the order of the letters will hint to us what is the flaw, what's the problem with barzel. And that's why it should not be brought in the base of Midrash and what we could learn from it. Barzel is Beis Reish Zayin Lamet. Acronym of Bila, Rochel, Zilpa, and Leia. Now, there were four matriarchs, but the wives were Rochel and Leia. Rochel's Shifcha, her, her, the maid wife was Bilha, and Leah's Shifcha was Zilpa. So the order of the letters, first it mentions Bilha before Rochel, Beis Lamed, and then Beis Reish, and then it says Zayin Lamed, Zilpa before Leah. There's a posuk brings down, Rebbe Levi Yitzchak. It says in Mishli, in Perik Lamed, Shifcha, a maid woman, Kisirash Givirta, who wants to inherit. She wants to take over the household. She wants to take over the wife. So when the Shifchos, the Bila and Zilpa want to take over, want to have their name, so to say, before Rachel and Leah, that causes a problem. Explains the Chesed is so beautiful, the meaning to us. A person has two parts of his life. He has the part where he's connected to the Abish, to his Torah mitzvahs, and then is how he affects the world. They are similar to your, the wife and the maid woman in the home. The relationship a person has with the Abish, that's a personal relationship. That's the real relationship a person wants. And that is the what a person should mostly involve himself with. And that's the ikir the main avoider was his connection of the Abish to Torah Mitzvahs. All the other things, his business and the world, now he relates to the other nations of the world. <coughs> Those are, in comparison, are the Shifchados, that's secondary. So a person has to have his proper values. In Hasidic language, it's called the Eulam Atzilus, and that's the real husband and wife relationship of Yaakov Avinu, which symbolizes the Abish with Rachel and Leah. And then you have how that comes out and affect him to the world, which is the maid woman, the Shivchois, the Bila and Zilpa. So when you have a Rosh Tevis, explains the Arizal and the Rebbe's father connects it with this, that <coughs> Bila comes before Rachel and Zilpa comes before Leah. 
That's a sign with Gashmistika things, physical things. Overpower a person's involvement and his Ruchnistika connection with Hashem. The real Rachelalea connection. That becomes secondary. And the Shifcha's name is first. And that's why Hashem says, no, I don't want <coughs> any bars in my base of Because that's not the proper order. A person has to remember there is Ruchnis and there is Gashmis. But the Gashmis is only here to serve the Ruchnis, to fulfill a person's mission in the world, to trade a mitzvah. When the physical things want to overpower, the Shifcha wants to inherit Shifcha Kisirash Kivirta, that is Barzel, that's no good. And that's why Hashem says, in my Chadar Hamitois, in the Beis Hamidish, I don't want any Barzel, I want to teach a Yid, the Tachlis and the main avoider, whatever he does in life, has to be the Ike to make a dwelling place for the Ebishter. All the gash mystic things are like a shivcha that's secondary. And that should be second. It shouldn't be first. And that's the meaning of what the Abisha described. This is what Oig wanted. He wanted to have helm, concealment of Elikus. And this also fits, not going to go into it now, with the four and the nine. But we'll explain that in another time. It has to do with Shemban, which is <coughs> four and nine in the letters of the Abishta. But that's a whole separate discussion, Nagachavas.